There's always that one guy that's always asking for a radio check over and over again. Breaker Breaker 1-9, Breaker Breaker 1-9. So today we're going to talk about CBs. And by the way, this is my old CB that I used when I was OTR. So we're going to talk about are they needed? Should you need one? Now I'm just going to say it's a preference now. Uh, I recommend, guys, that you use the CB for what it's for. You know, use it to uh, communicate with other drivers about, you know, traffic, weather, uh, maybe DOT, scale house, or just to look out for another driver now. That's what I used it for. And that's only what I used it for, you know. Now, unfortunately, a lot of drivers don't use the CB for what it's for. You know, they use this here mic to talk all the shit in the world. And I'm sure some of y'all that are watching this video are probably one of those drivers. I have no doubt. Don't be one of them drivers. You know, that's the reason why a lot of people don't use CB radios today, and that's why. And if they do, some of them don't even have it turned on now. CBs, like I said, it will save you from sitting in hours of traffic delays. God knows it's helped me numerous of times. I cannot tell you, especially out in Texas. When the highways get shut down, you know, they might say uh, it's a wreck up ahead. And as far as CB terminology, I'm debating if I'll make a video on that. I'm not sure yet. But like I said, they'll let you know if it's a wreck up ahead. They'll tell you, you know, how to get around it. That's one reason why you should have your CB on, because like I said, it can prevent you. Um, as far as DOT, you know, they might say it's a bear uh, westbound or bear sitting in the median. You know, so if you're somebody that's hauling ass, you know, there you go. Uh, as far as uh, weather, you know, you can find out what the weather's looking like, and and if you need to take a detour, you know, another reason why you should have a CB. Now, sometimes when you go to some shippers or receivers, you know, they might have um, a sign that says uh, tune in to channel such and such. You know, that way they can communicate. They can communicate with you. You know, um, there was a few places that I went to that was like that, where I would have to tune into channel such and such and I could communicate with them from their office. But I didn't even have to go in there. Now, like I said, a lot of drivers use it, you know, to talk all the mess in the way. Most of them almost all of them, they're not going to be bold enough to say it outside that truck. You know, they feel like they're invincible, like they're untouchable when they're in that truck. Now, I'm the type of person, you know, I could say it on the mic, but like I said, I'm not one of them people, you know, I don't need a, I don't need a mic to talk shit. You know, I could say it directly to your face if need be. But like I said, most of these drivers, they're not. Um, personally, I don't want to hear racial slurs. That's one thing you're going to hear a lot of on a CB. You're going to hear racial slurs. You're going to hear people talking about politics. You're going to hear people singing on the mic, playing their music through the mic. You're going to hear people selling stuff in the truck stops. You're going to hear the idiot that's going to ask for a radio check a hundred million times. You're going to hear somebody in the truck stop that's selling stuff. I got DVDs, three for 15, three for 15. I got truck washes, you know, you're gonna hear it all. You know, I done heard it all on this CB, you know. Now, whether you choose to listen to that, you know, that's all on you, but me personally, you know, I when I was at the truck stop, you know, I did keep my CB on, I did, but I would keep it low enough to where I could hear it, you know, in case of emergency, I'll give you a perfect example. I remember one time I was out in, uh, where was I at? I believe I was in Oregon, yeah, I was in Oregon out of love you know i was shut down for the night and this guy's truck caught on fire now he was three spaces over for me and since i had the cb on i was able to hear them say like everybody you need to move your truck move your truck so i was able to move it in time so that's a perfect example of why you know at nighttime um keep it on now people also use it and i've done it myself you know back when i was first starting out you know if i needed help you know i might get on the cb and say hey i need somebody to spot me you know so like I said, you can use it for that and help somebody. But like I said, I'm not, I can't stress this enough, guys. Don't be that driver that's using it for the wrong reason. And like I said, I'm sure it's somebody that's watching this video right now that's one of those drivers, you know. Don't be that driver, you know. We're supposed to stick together. We're supposed to help one another out, you know. So 
like I said, it's a preference um, as far as, like I said, what CV to get. You know, it doesn't matter. Like I said, mine is a Cobra, Cobra 29. I haven't used this thing in over two years, you know, so um, I just might sell it. But if I go back over the road, which I probably won't because I love this LTO life. Like I said, I might sell it, might not, but go to wrap this up. So as I always tell y'all, thank you to all my day one subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. If you're watching this and haven't subbed, make sure you sub, hit the like button, hit the dislike button. It's all love and I will catch y'all in the next one.